everyone, welcome back to Board Game Geek's continuing coverage from the Spiel 2019. I'm joined this time by Mortz from Hans and Luke. And yeah, I very hope, good. I hope I did that justice. Very <laughs> good. We're looking at Marco Polo 2, which yes, is uh, great. So show me um, what's new and improved and returning in this version of the game. Absolutely. So first of all, we have a huge bag of wood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so uh, who's familiar with the game? Um, Loads that some some issues, some of the old ones. We try to improve also during the process. But actually, the main thing it's 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 a total new game in terms of uh, having all these different strategies and um, yeah, you you have the same redundant elements of, of placing dice uh, as a workers basically. Okay. Um, so you have different spots on the board where you can place them, as uh, we all know. But all of the spots change. All do a different way, a different approach on the on the on the parts of the game than the one before. Okay. So you still have resources. You still have uh, houses to place on the board. You still have traveling on the board. They just cut out the board, so basically it's, it's double the size. Okay. So we all have the map over here. Um, you still do contracts technically, but how you do is differently. So. When it's your turn, you have to place a die as uh, usual, and uh, you have the different spots which are available. Sometimes you have restrictions now, so it has to be a three or more, okay. uh, a one or more, which is still kind of easy for a six sided die. Um, you have to place two, for example, and so on. Um, that's a complete new element. You get sigils, you've not had them before in, uh, in the game. There's these ones. Here's the new market. New market is now fed by. Um, separate offers every every day uh, we're playing six turns and every turn it's replaced you see a little bit of the previous one and you also see there is a new resource introduced before we had camels uh, which are basically a, 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 a second currency beside the money um, we had silk gold and pepper all there and now we have jade too okay and jade was very important in china and we all know marco polo traveled in China, maybe if he ever existed, but that's what I uh, what I got uh, researched. So, um, the new Jade is unlocking us different opportunities in the market, mm -hmm. as well it does, it's required for traveling sometimes, okay. as well there's some special abilities uh, you, you can use for, uh, you, can, you can use it for, and there's contracts, so it's, it's woven in the system obviously. The traveling part is over here, and in the previous game you had to do a pretty um, uh, well, it was, it was a little bit more complicated. Now it's very easy. You put the die here. Now you can move up to three spaces and you have to pay the cost on the board. They increased massively, so it is, it is sorted off differently. I got, some people say it's more easy for them. Some are used to the old system, so that's, that's yeah. But, but most people say it's, it's more easy for them. It's good because the, the whole game by itself is a little bit more complicated. <laughs> okay. um, it's more strategy. Um, you have a little bit more clear strategy. We changed even the final scoring has changed to a completely new system. Oh wow! That's where the, where the where these cards are from. Okay. We have the sigils, which are pretty important. They are actually used in three ways. Uh, you sometimes get unlock special ways to, to drive, um, and then you can you can um, activate them, turn them around, and then you get some special powers every day. You can use them for the cities and use them for the final cards. So everything is, is woven together. Yes. Yeah. And um, yeah, and you have to discover new strategies. Wow. So you, uh, even for those already familiar with the game, th this is more than just a reprint or a reskin. This, yes, this is a, really an evolution, a new. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. As I said, the, the system that I place dice mm -hmm. is the same. The same. I'm still traveling. I'm still placing houses. I'm still doing contracts with some resources. But the, all the how I do is different, so I cannot I cannot do the same strategies as I know, because I have to find new ways. Very nice. Contracts are only on the board now, so there is no space where you can get the contracts as usual. You have to take them there, so you have to travel, which is then getting us a little bit more competition on the spot. So that is, uh, and yeah, well, if someone is starting new, you can start with that again immediately. Everything is there. Yeah, the rules written in the way. I still recommend to uh, play number one first. Of course, if you're an experienced uh, Terra Mystica player, uh, then it's, uh, you will do that, no problem. <laughs> um, but for, for medium gamers, I would definitely recommend to, to try number one first and, okay. and then jump on that evolution. Good to know. All right. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, yeah, thank you so much for you know, kind of showing us what's new and different and everything. 
And if you'd like to find out even more about Marco Polo 2, be sure to check out its Board Game Geek page or the Hans and Luke website. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And we'll have board coverage from the Spiel coming up real soon. Thank you, guys.